So one of the biggest cons of living in New York City is how expensive the rent is. I pay $2,200. Okay, I pay $1,375. I pay $2,100. I pay $1,275. $1,635. $2,000 a month. $2,575. I own my home. We live in a house. It's over 100 years old and haunted. So today we're going to see how much people are paying for rent in New York City and see if we can get an apartment tour. Would you be willing to give a tour of your apartment? Yeah. Today. No. Um, I'm an artist, so like I have a studio space mixed with my um, bedroom, essentially. No, my apartment looks like <laughs> Maybe another day, though. What, dude? Like, you live inside an ambulance? Yeah, yeah, I just got it on a government auction website. And how long have you lived in the uh, ambulance? About four months now. All in with taxes, five grand, 15,000 to renovate it. 20,000 all in. That's oh, I don't want to see it yet. This is sick. Dude, what the heck? So you built this out by yourself? Yeah. Oh, how long did it take to build out? About six months. Well, first of all, where do you sleep? Do you just sleep right here? No, so this is just the couch. Yeah, so this pulls down. Pop this down. This opens up here. Whoa. This opens up here. Dude, what? That's insane. Really? Oh, can I get on it? Get on it, Yo, let's go. Full size bed. This is comfortable. Yeah. I'm like. It's six inch memory foam. Yeah, you got this thing decked out. Thanks. The fact that you just folded your bed down. What was your rating on the on the comfiness? It's the highest one. It was like a nine. The highest one. This the is highest. like this is like a nine. This bed. For vans or apartments? This all over. Because we're inside an ambulance right now. Does, does this mean it has more space than a van? Yeah, that was one of the big draws. Just because it's so much wider, and then you have all the external storage, so you don't, you don't have to have all your belongings on the inside or build a big roof rack or something. Totally. Toilet situation. Yeah, it's a wet bath situation. What does that mean? Wet bath? Just the toilet, you know, can stay in or pop out. It has hot and cold water too, which is nice. Dude, luxury. Look at that. The thing is sick. I would definitely live in this thing. <laughs> Closet right here. The shelves. It looks like you just like built all this, right? Yeah, I did it all by hand. I tried to recycle a lot of materials too. Um, and then just kind of like use what I had. So what's this down here? There's like a dip. Oh, originally both these two were walled off and they're external closets that I just cut the walls off. So that dips down, and you can see the door on the outside go all the way down to that ground level. Like, I'm six foot and I can stand up in here. Like, barely, but like, that's pretty good. My sink situation. This is like nicer than most people's New York City apartments. <laughs> I'm not even joking. You gotta pull kind of hard. Arr. Okay, we go. got it. All right. Yeah, toiletries. And then this is just like an extra seat with an actual yeah, seatbelt. There's a seatbelt. Seat there's a seat belt. Is that for like legality reasons or? You don't have to, no. Legally, like only a couple states you have to. Mm. So that's how I cook. So up there is the camp stove. The propane stove. Just how I make my meals. Do you cook most of your meals out here? Or like in here? Yeah. I made brats, you know, for my coworkers the other day. We just like went to the park and chilled. It was really nice, just on our lunch break, you know. That's hilarious. It was a vibe. Yeah, yeah. We all just met too, so they were like, "What the heck?" Like, yeah. What is this ambulance? Sure. Yeah. So if you pull that out right there. Oh yeah, I can do some that's writing. That's kind of my desk situation. Laptop work. Yeah, I edit there and study scripts and stuff like that. This is really comfortable too. Yeah, I, I really like that captain's chair. I freelance, so I'm an actor and sound designer, photographer. What about like, so we're sitting here with the doors open right now and there's a lot of light coming in. Mm -hmm. Is that what you normally do? Or do you keep the doors closed? Depends on where I'm at, you know, if I want to stay like more low key about it. That's a smart generator. It is hooked up to all of my electrics basically. It tells you live like the wattage you're pulling and stuff like that. Like if I just did that, it would run for seven, eight hours. Pantry. Decked out. You got all your spices. You got meals, the mini fridge. Yep, did the little alcohol rack in the back there. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> We got Tito's. Little bar cart. That's all my like cookware and stuff. Pots and pans and but yeah, I just tried to like, take my time with it. Enjoy the process. It was kind of stressful because you know, I'm a perfectionist. It's hard to like gauge how long these things are gonna take, you know? For sure. It's just, you know, extra storage, cubbies. This is a, this is a question I have for you. Have you yeah. ever had to medically aid someone? No, but like when I first bought it, I was at Aldi like getting food mm -hmm. and this lady came up and she said her like heart was hurting or something. I just, be really honest with her really fast. It's like a personal vehicle. I offered to call. I have a standing desk situation. That's kind of fun. Oh my god, this dude thought of everything. <laughs> I don't even have a standing desk. We're going this, around or? Yeah, this is sick. It's so big. Yeah, it's huge. 
So this is literally just seating, like you don't have any storage or anything up here. Behind the seats, I throw some stuff. It's got to kill on gas, right? It's got to be like way worse yeah. than a van or anything. It's tough. So it's like a huge truck, pretty much. Yeah, and it's diesel, so and it's eight to the gallon. It evens out because you know no rent. So does that limit like your idea of like mm, maybe if I want to take like a road trip somewhere more? You're kind of like play it like, well, let me calculate how much gas that would be. Yeah. That's kind of the whole idea right now, just like rolling with the jobs. Like I didn't plan to come out here until like four or five days ago. These are two of the external cabinets that I've kind of repurposed. 45 gallon fresh water tank. Got my mom when I was little, she got me a little like VW bus, like little toy. And I've had it forever. It's like a little orange one, you know, like, you know. Yeah. I've wanted to do it for as long as I can remember. You guys want to see this? This is so amazing. This is my, my husband's dream. Might I come aboard? Absolutely. <laughs> there she goes. Absolutely. This is a nice part. Yeah, so this is the pantry. Holy mackerel! And you have peanut butter. What else do you need? <laughs> That's all you need to survive. <laughs> oh, you have she said you have peanut butter. Yeah. That's all you need. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Holy macaroni and cheese. I'm obsessed. We're going to tour a van today. We're right outside the van. Yeah. That's how it feels. It's, it kind of feels like my own man cave. The build was like 17,700 and the car was 31,000. I guess this is like Van Alley in Brooklyn where all the van life people live. Watch this be the wrong van. <laughs> there is two red ones. The door's a little cracked, so I think it is. Hello? What's up? Hi, how are you? How's your day been? Um, very interesting. I um, woke up this morning and saw a guy like peeing on the van over there and I'm like, thank God it's not my van. Walking in, it's all pink. So what prompted the uh, the theme of your van? Taylor Swift, actually. No, no way. <laughs> yeah, when I started building it, her album was Lover at the time, and I was like really obsessed with it, and so I went with the full pink. And then also, when I was building, I got a lot of like sexist comments, like, oh, like who's gonna build that for you? Like, oh, your brother's gonna make that? And just, I kind of was like, I wanna break that stereotype of people being like, oh, you're a girl and you're building it. Like, and I wanted right. to make it like, yeah, I am, and I like girly things, and I also can build things. My silverware, um, like all my dishes, all of the water in the world, because it gets so hot in here. <laughs> metal box. That's my gray water and that's my clean water. And this thing is a monster. It like screams. Is this wallpaper that you put on top of it? Pretty much. It's um like a sticky like contact paper from Amazon mm. on like a regular piece of plywood. It looks like granite though so I think it's achieving what you wanted it to be. Good. And then I have like all my like makeup and like face wash and stuff in there but I covered it with like flowers to make it look like it's less messy. The van is a 2015 but I built it about two years ago so I've been traveling in it for two years now. I love the game. So that was important to me, even though I know it's a little bit of an extra weight. So we're like, save weight, don't bring everything. I'm like, Is that what they say? Yeah, because weight's really important, um, partially for gas mileage, but also the van can only hold so much. I'm glad you're not like 6'2". That's like, I think the limit of height. My favorite thing of the whole van is probably my skylight, because I can literally climb out of it, which is partially like a safety thing also. You have an escape. So, oh, there she is. That's cool. So then you just climb up on your roof. Yeah, I can just like sit up here and then I have the skyline. Whoa. This is cool. You do have the best view of New York City. It is gorgeous. You yeah. have the uh, solar panels up here. How much electricity? does it actually give you? So basically, I never run out of battery. Like I'm usually like an 80 to 90%. Can I try out your bed? Go for it. Let's go. <laughs> so comfortable, I'm impressed. Thank you, that was like a big deal to me. Wow, <laughs> to have it. we love Pokemon. So there's garage space. Yeah, uh, which is where this like bottom door goes. Yeah, I like, literally have to crawl in it to get things. Yeah, there's a ton of space back there though. Oh, so you literally just, wow, this is sick. I mostly do my work on here, like my small business, like where I mostly make my travel money from. Um, I like make safety keychains and then I, you can use all this space. Like I use like an iron, I like put everything together, I like make it and then ship it out. So that's my like work space mostly. There he goes. Yeah, if you see interesting things whenever the door's open. <laughs> can you walk me through how it's been in New York City and then like moving around for safety? Like what is that like? So New York's definitely interesting. I would say this spot in particular, I cannot sleep past 4 30 a.m. Like someone will come do something at 4 30 a.m. That is very common. Like, but I mean full blast. Like one point like my van was shaking because their music was so loud. I was like You're near a bunch of clubs. <laughs> Did you know that? Yeah. But in the morning it's so calm and peaceful here, so I kind of just switch my sleeping hours. And you said you don't stay in this spot, so how often do you move? Kind of when I feel like the vibe of me being like I want to make sure I'm safe and like not staying in one spot too long. So maybe like three days max somewhere and then I'll just kind of switch around and I think most people who live on this street in particular are men, like older men that probably don't have that concern. But like a solo girl coming out of her van is like, oh, you know, That's it's a little kinda, bit Yeah. Soak it in right now. It's yeah, it's not a big space, but honestly, if I, I have to clean every single morning. If I don't clean every morning, then I feel claustrophobic. Is there anything under this? Yeah, that's my fridge and my electrical system. Simple to like access, but nothing too complicated. Also, it's like a mini fridge. Yeah, I mean, I have a full stove that I can set up right here and just cook. Where do you use the bathroom? So I did not put a bathroom in my van. Um, okay. There is a bathroom like 
just right around the corner from here. I usually use then, um, but straight up, like I have a pee jug. Like that's literally what I do in here. Like you have a what? Like a pee jug. Like oh, a pee jug. Yeah, I a just pee like jug. pee in a jug. Can we see it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you draw this yourself? I did. That's I did. actually pretty sick. Thank you. Yeah, my first small business was art, and I used to paint on like denim jackets. Big gang. There's just a lot of shelving down here. Uh, you're a dancer. I'm a dancer, yeah. Not Are easy to practice kids? in here. Yeah. You got all the fun activities. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. You use this a little bit as storage up here. It yeah. Seems. I try to make it also look like there's a second person in here. So if someone does see my van, they like think because it's an empty seat that like I can have people, which is why I try to not have it be chaotic. Is the knock like when cops come? Yeah, they come and knock on your door. And I've had it, I've had it, I think, two or three times and I had it once in a Walmart. I was just tired and I was listening to music and I fell asleep and I woke up to my car being towed. Like my, my car was like being lifted. Wow. I like <laughs> panic of course. I like run to like my front seat and I'm like, like please stop. He just had me move down the street. He was like, oh, you can just go park at the Home Depot. It was just like, please don't park here. And I was like, all right. I was so scared. It was not a good time. So now I'm like really vigilant. There's like websites you can like look up um, and like, um, so, like allstays.com has like every Walmart and like people go and review them so like you can look it up beforehand. I didn't know that when I started and I went to that Walmart um, or I would have known that was not a good spot to be. Right. So um, it's definitely a big thing for me but I also own a safety business so like for me specifically I'm like I really gotta be like vigilant on safety if I'm gonna be like teaching other people like self-defense and like safety tips so. So this curtain that you set up is this basically to close this off? So but I can see through the little stars so if someone's outside I like put my face up to the little star and I can see who's out there. Oh that's smart. Which is unfortunately how I watched the guy pee on someone else's van last night was through the <laughs> star. I have my skylight um I try to do like the best circulation I can I have like cooling towels but like I don't have AC. In the winter though I have a heater I have like a Wabasto. Yeah I lived in Vermont during last winter so. How was that? Really really cold. <laughs> Very cold. <laughs> <laughs> um it was it was pretty bad it was and then like I also like shower in like gyms so like if you shower and you have soaking wet hair and you have to go out and live in a freezing cold van. Right. Ever have company over in here? Mostly just my boyfriend. And I started dating him like one month before I finished my van build. So none of this planned for two people at all whatsoever. And how many more years do you plan on doing the van life thing? I honestly can't imagine not doing it anymore. Like, Whoa. I, yeah. That's like, pretty big. We're on four wheels. This thing still drives, right? Yeah. All right, let's go for a ride. You have your license, right? Is that imagine. Important? Imagine. <laughs> Wait, is she serious? I asked Taylor if I could spend a night in the van to see what it's really like to live in a home on wheels. I got my pee bottle just in case I need to pee. Here we go. Look at the light. Change that. Oh my God. Let me close this door. Good night, New York. <laughs> so weird. Just like, there's my home. And like, I'm in the van. I'm in the van. Wow, it's really pretty in here. It's really hot though, so. Good night, world. And there's a street light up there, so it's shining right in, kind of. It was actually pretty nice sleeping in the van. Once it cooled off, I would live in a van for a bit. 